Hi guys, so I'm back with another video today. I'm so excited because this is one that you guys have kind of asked for. So basically, some of you would have seen probably that I'd done a uni kind of advice video, an updated kind of one about first year and my experience and just things that I wish I had known like to help prepare for first year I guess so I said in that video that if the other one did well and if any of you guys messaged me saying like I should do it I would then do a video all about like what you should bring and what you shouldn't bring and just kind of like the necessities that you need as well as like essential but non-essential items if that makes sense so things that are really useful to get but like it's not the end of the world if you don't get them i hope you guys kind of get what i'm talking about i feel like this is going to be quite a long video so i'm just going to jump into it straight away so i've also thought of another video that i think will be really useful because i feel like if i went very in depth in what exactly you need to bring for uni it literally would have just been like an hour long video and ain't nobody got time for that so nobody got time for this so i guess my um proposal is that I was thinking it'd be quite useful for me to do like a uni hacks kind of video, so like hacks to do with storage, stuff like that, because I know that I really struggled with that and there's certain things I did which I should have done a lot earlier on that would have prevented me from being in the state that I was, if that makes sense. So let me know if you find that interesting or if you find that helpful. If this video gets over like 25 likes, I'll take that as you guys want it. So yeah, right. So I've spit, spit. So I've split the video up into three categories. The first one is like basic necessity. So things you really need. And I've done it. So I go through kitchen, bedroom, and then bathroom. Then I've done things that are like essential but non-essential and then I've made a list of things to just not even bother getting because it will save you money and time. Also I'm going to try and find a way if I can link my list in the description down below because you guys can add to where you can use it when you go shopping or whatever so I feel like it could be useful. Right so let's just get on with it. So for the kitchen you obviously kind of need your basic things which are plates, bowls, cutlery. With plates and bowls I would say get two big plates, two small plates two bowls and then like a set of cutlery. I just say that because first of all things will break 100%. It's uni, you're not careful, you're drunk half the time so things will break. You might have people come visit you so it'll be useful. You'll have days where you're so lazy you can't be bothered to wash the plate so the spare one will be handy. So then glasses. Make sure that you get at least four or maybe a pack of six. Get a pack of glasses. I was a dumb bitch. I'm not gonna lie to you. My friend Gabby managed to get a pack of like four or six glasses from Wilco's for like 99p I'm pretty sure it was so cheap and there was like basic normal glasses me I want it to be extra right I'm actually using it right now but um I got this glass from Ikea and it was like three pound per glass so I said three pound on three of these glasses right three why three it's an odd number why did I go for three right it makes no sense yeah so I got three of these and both of them broke and look I think this is quite a nice glass so that's just money gone down the drain honestly don't do that don't try and be extra like me don't waste your time doing that just get some cheap glasses from Wilco's or Ikea wherever you want to get them from because they will break honestly and you know what's bad the glasses I broke weren't even when I was drunk they were just throughout the day like get frying pans and pots but I would try and say find out with flatmates if you're going to be sharing or if you're all going to have your own ones because if you are going to share then maybe you won't end up having to need to buy the frying pans you might have to buy something else me and my flatmates we actually just all bought our own things and like kind of did our own thing that way so I had to buy my own frying pan and pot. Pretty much the rest of this kind of does depend on what your flatmates are going to be doing. Like I just said, we did not share our stuff. So I got my own utensils for cooking. I got two chopping boards. Also, do not get a wooden one. I bought a wooden one from Ikea. It was so hard to clean and it was just really bulky and annoying. So I literally never, ever used it. And also, when I brought it home and used it and I put it in the dishwasher, it split in half. So just stay with plastic. Next thing colander slash strainer whatever you call it get one of those pasta is going to be your best friend at uni it's so easy to make you can make bulks of it and then store it in the fridge for like the next day when you want to add a bit of sauce or whatever you want to do with it it's just so useful and i guess it really does depend if you are catered for i was not catered for so i did quite a lot of cooking so when it came to the kitchen side of things, I probably spent a bit more because I knew that I was going to be making food quite a lot. Get containers. Containers are so useful. I'm pretty sure I could do like a massive pack you can just get. And even if you don't use them all in the kitchen, you can use them in your room to store things. Some people said bring kettles, some said don't. I found that we needed a kettle. Luckily, someone, one of my flatmates brought one and we all shared it. Another one brought the toaster, so we all had that to share as well, which was really nice of them. Um, discuss this with your flatmates if you can before. 
it'll be a bit frustrating if you bring like five kettles to the kitchen because there'll be no room for it. I don't think we got supplied with a kettle. We did get supplied with a toaster, but it was terrible. Like it, there was just no point in using it. It just burnt everything. <coughs> Definitely get a baking tray for pizza, nuggets, chips, all that. When you come home drunk, you're gonna have a bit of nuggets. I know that we did quite a lot. Definitely get a measuring jug. They're just useful. You never know when you're gonna need them. And I use mine quite a lot because the first two months, all I ate was noodles. I'm not gonna lie to you. Get tea towels. Tea towels, you will need them. You are gonna need tea towels. Oh my god, we had one roommate she i'm so sorry but she was like the messiest person i've ever met the tea towels would have like gunk on it i didn't even know what it was and it was just disgusting so i ended up having my own one and i would hide it in my drawer so that nobody would use it just make sure you bring a few and keep them in your room don't distribute them all out straight away because they get dirty so so quickly and then obviously you need knives for chopping can opener scissors bottle opener they're all really useful things that you probably well bottle opener you you need your uni you're gonna need it the other one I use this quite a lot because I love potatoes. Like, potato is like just my number one thing to eat. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I had to get a potato peeler. Not everybody needs it. If you don't eat potatoes, don't bring it. You should also discuss this with your flatmates, but bring cleaning stuff. So bring sponges, washing up liquid, things to clean the surface because oh my God, like our kitchen, and it wasn't like our fault. It was this one messy person's fault because she would never ever clean. It's definitely useful to get because your surface will just get disgusting. And then the final thing that I can kind of think of that is really useful, that what well, I found that was really useful, um, was a drying mat. So in Ikea, they do these kind of ones that fold and you can just put all your things after you wash them up to dry. You don't need this. I just found this really useful because we had such a messy flatmate that would put like sauce and dried up bits of I don't even know what it was just disgusting so yeah definitely get one of those um you just don't know who your flatmates are gonna be you might be lucky you might have the most cleanest people in the world one thing i do want to say though is that when i went to ikea i didn't actually realize they do a starter uni kit thing so i think altogether it comes to around i want to say like 70 or 80 pounds i don't actually remember but see if you can have a look online and see what it has in there because i know that it literally had everything that I needed and it would have saved me so much time because I went around picking up each individual thing whereas it was like a massive box and it just had everything in it so have a look and see if they still do that I don't know if they do then I'm moving on to the bedroom so these are things that you need to have so have two sets of bedding because you can alternate so when one's dirty you can wash it and then put the clean one on if that makes sense same with towels have two sets because towels can get dirty quite quickly and oh my god this you need this you need this so bad because Otherwise, your back is going to suffer. Your, you know, your brain will suffer because you won't be getting enough sleep. You need to get a mattress topper. Honestly, they make your bed so much more comfy. It just makes you feel more homey. I don't know how to explain it. This is one thing that I didn't actually initially mean to get. My mum just bought it for me. Antibacterial surface wipes are amazing because your desk is going to be used as a bar area, a dining table at times. You can do your makeup on there. You're also going to study there, so you need to clean it quite often because it's going to get a bit dirty. It will make you feel so much better because your room will smell fresher and it will be cleaner. So definitely get one of those. Hangers, obviously you need hangers. Another thing that's going to be so useful is, I don't actually know the proper official name. It's called a scub and it's like a drop down shelving storage thing. So this was really useful because I didn't actually get that many drawers in my um, accommodation. Anything to do with storage is so useful. Another thing I really do recommend getting is an over the door mirror in my uni room tour i think i showed i think i showed a lot of what i had so i'll include that because they might be useful it will be somewhere up here you need over the door hooks honestly you if you especially if you bring jackets and stuff like it's just it takes up so much room in your wardrobe so having over the door hooks you can put all your big bulky jackets you can put some handbags to hang over it it's just so useful so another thing that you definitely do need is storage boxes so i had a big acrylic one where i put all my like bedding towels and just stuff like that in there i just found that it was really useful even if you don't put bedding in it like it's so good to put like big jumpers or coats for winter that you might not be using straight away when you get there and stuff like that so and then looking on from that baskets and like smaller storage like boxes i have one that had like a really nice pattern on it so it kind of like added like decoration i guess and then i had it was like a plastic mini like drawer storage thing i don't know what it's called but um it was really useful i put jewelry in it i put like medicine in it i think I had batteries in it and just stuff like that that was really useful that i didn't really want to put in like big drawers and everything that i really do recommend bringing is a lamp most unis do have 
lighting, I think, under, like, the shelving bit. But to have a lamp by your bedside, I'm just so used to having that. So I feel like that's just something that also helped me to feel like it was, like, home, if that makes sense. This is one thing that I didn't get that I really wish I had. A couple of my friends had mats um, as you kind of come into, like, your room so that if you have muddy shoes you can kind of like brush them off before you come in and that just prevents like muddy stains being left on the carpet and stuff so you don't have to worry about too much about cleaning it all up so that is something i really do recommend getting and you can get really cheap ones you can literally go to like pound nine and get one i'm pretty sure then another thing i definitely recommend bringing is just like things from home so like whether that's a cuddly teddy bear if that's photos if that's like a blanket from home definitely bring things that will remind you of home because it will just make you feel so much more settled 100 percent bring something that will help you to be organized so whether that's a calendar like a diary um a lot of people brought whiteboards which i kind of wish i had because you can just scribble things to remember and you can like even chart out like what you're doing and stuff so a whiteboard would be quite useful definitely get a shoe rack i got one from ikea and it's one that you can actually like stack on top of each other so like i bought two shelves that you can put on top and it was just so handy because i had it under my desk and all my shoes were in there and then one thing that i had to get which was definitely something that i needed but then again check with your uni see if you do actually need this so my room didn't provide me like a bedside table which was so annoying i don't really understand why not but um I had to buy a cheap one from B&M. I think mine was only like five or 10 pounds, but it was like the most useful thing that I bought. And that's all the kind of necessities of the bedroom. Now onto the bathroom. So if you have an ensuite, this probably more applies to you than it does if you don't. It's not that long, so I'll be quite quick with it. So you definitely need to get a bathroom shelving unit. I was so happy that I bought one. No one else in my flat did. And they all really did regret buying it because you can literally put all your shampoos, like toiletries, everything you need can go in the little shelf. Definitely get bathroom mats. Your floor will be dirty. Um, it will be cold as well when you come out of the showers. Uh, my uni had like a little storage thing in the shower so I didn't have to attach one. But definitely get one if you don't have that already with your uni. And then make sure you bring toilet roll. Oh my god. So I didn't actually know that my uni provides toilet rolls um, every week i just thought i'd have to buy my own ones and when it's fresh this week when you're going out if you don't get hangovers you are lucky but i spend a lot of my time on my toilet and i used up a lot of toilet roll whilst doing that so definitely make sure that you are ready and prepared for it because you will need a lot of toilet roll and then the final thing is toilet brush and cleaner like to clean the toilet with i know that my uni provided me with a toilet brush so check if yours does i don't know if they have that online and then this is just like essential non-essential so things are really useful but you don't need to get if you don't want to so the first thing is extension leads definitely get them i mean i had quite a lot of plugs so even if i wouldn't have i think i probably would have been okay but it was just really useful because i could just put them like along my room and then i had it where i needed it door stops i had a fire door is it called a fire safety door i don't know what the name is but one of those doors are quite heavy so i needed a door stop to kind of keep it open and during freshers week it's so nice because then you can easily go in and out of each other's rooms have chats and stuff it just makes it a lot more welcoming and open and it's also handy when say you're having like i don't know pre's at your flat you can then use that door stop for like your actual flat doors people can just come in definitely get command hooks or strips i needed the strips for my tapestry that i've had on my wall um that's how i attach the whole thing together hooks are really useful for if you have fairy light this honestly so many of my friends bought actual laundry bags which some of them found useful but for me i literally just brought like a one pound ikea bag i'll show you it's massive it's actually got um stuff in it so just ignore it but look it's massive so I bought that from Ikea and it was only a pound and that would fit literally all of my laundry in. So I just used that. It was so cheap and it was so easy to carry as well because you've got long and short straps. Because you have to remember, unless you're living in quite a nice, bougie, I guess, accommodation, you're not going to have laundry, like, in your building. We didn't. We had to walk. Well, not far. It was, like, five-minute walk. But if I had something that was quite difficult to carry, then that... And, like, when clothes are wet, it becomes so heavy. Like, I did not realise how heavy it would be. So, I, like, having the long shoulder straps was actually really useful because I could just carry it on my shoulder. Oh, my God. You need to bring slippers, sliders, and a dressing gown. The kitchen floor will be disgusting, especially if you lived in my flat. It was disgusting because of a certain person. Dressing gowns just so easy. Like if you're in your pajamas and you need to run to the kitchen to get a drink of water, you can just throw that on and no one's gonna judge you. Do you know what I mean? Like definitely bring a dressing gown. Definitely get an old pair of trainers for when you go out clubbing. 
I ended up using my Nike Air Force Ones and they weren't even that old but now they look grim because of it and they squeak. I don't really know why but they just started squeaking off so I started wearing them out. If you don't have one I honestly would recommend just buying a cheap pair from Depop or going to a charity shop and buying one just because I know it might not seem like a big deal like I know that when I went out like I was stubborn to this I wanted to wear nice shoes in case we've got pictures but now i just regret it because they were nice shoes that i spent money on and like the money has just gone down the drain because they're grim now so definitely just buy a cheap pair or a second hand pair or if you have an old pair of trainers just wear them another thing is bring batteries you never know when you're going to need them like for fairy lights or anything just good to have bring a pack with you so you're prepared another thing this is something that i didn't actually realize that i need and i guess it depends with who you live with so we had cupboards in our kitchen that had little padlock hooks. I definitely would recommend bringing one just in case. Um, we had a couple of incidents where somebody was taking other people's food and stuff. So having a padlock just kind of ensures that no one can do that and no one can get into your cupboard. Um, I had someone steal oil from me and salt, which was lovely. But yeah, if I would have had a padlock, it would have just prevented that, that happening. If you don't have an ensuite, just bring a bag or like a basket to put all your toiletries in and stuff so that when you go, you can carry it there and back, which will be useful. You can get a drying rack or like an error, I think it's called. Um, it's just so much easier. You can put your clothes there to dry. What I would do is I'd put mine in the shower, obviously when it wasn't on. So it was like out of the way of my room and it just dries overnight and you save money by not using the tumble dryer. So definitely do that. Get a room diffuser. You're going to need it. Otherwise, your room is going to stay. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't get this, but it actually would have been so useful. Get like a little mug stand because I brought, I think, like three or four mugs, and I just love switching between them. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I guess it's not a necessity, but. I think bring them. I say bring shot glasses just because it's something that people kind of expect everyone else to have if you have them and especially if you want to be having pre's and stuff. This is something that I really do recommend. I just have like a standard um, juve. I didn't go all out and get like a fancy one or anything but I had a fleece bed set so when it was winter I was so warm and when I tell you the heating was rubbish like the heating in my room, it was literally a radiator that was like this size. I'm not even lying to you. That was all the heating I had. And mine didn't even work properly. It was literally like little puffs of air coming out. It was ridiculous. So if I wouldn't have had that fleece set, I probably would have frozen. On that note, if you do not want to get a fleece bed set, I would recommend just bringing a hot water bottle. For girls, it's really useful when you're on your period, if you have cramps and stuff like that. And it's just nice. It keeps the bed warm and cozy. So definitely bring that if you don't want to bring the fleece bed set or bring both. I know I think it's really useful as a flask of water bottles. I would sometimes make a caramel hot chocolate and bring with me to like lectures and stuff so it was definitely really useful and you'll just save yourself so much money rather than going to the shops and stuff and spending money on like getting a coffee and stuff like that. I would not have survived first year if I didn't have this I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like for cleaning it's like liquid to clean clothes with I don't it's just washing liquid. I'll include a picture of the one that I exactly use. I had like a washing liquid thing for clothes. I would always forget to go and wash my clothes in the laundry bit and it was so expensive like i'm not gonna lie to you my uni did rip us off when it came to washing our clothes so i would often forget and like i'd run out of clothes so i'd have to quickly wash it in the sink and i would have i would just use the washing up thing that i had because it was just so quick and easy to do it oh yeah make sure you do bring like washing capsules because i didn't at first because i don't know why i kind of thought if you're paying like four pound or however much i was paying for a wash I kind of thought they would have provided you with like a washing liquid, but they don't. So make sure that you bring um, one of those little tablet things so that you can actually wash your clothes in the washing machines. This isn't a necessity, but it's something that would be quite nice if you're going to have friends come and visit you. Try and see if your flatmates would actually chip in money towards this and get like a blow up mattress so that when you all have friends to come around, you can all share it. We had single beds that were quite small, so it wasn't really practical for friends to also sleep in it. Lucky for me, one of my flatmates did actually have one, so she let me borrow it. So it wasn't like as big of an issue for me, but I know the people who were in different flats who didn't have that, it was a bit annoying for them. This is like definitely something that you should get. Bring your own kind of like medical kit, I guess, like your first aid kit. I brought like a little bag that had all like medicine that I would need and just like plasters, all that kind of stuff, just because that is something that you kind of forget that you need and like when you do need it, it's just so handy. Those are all the kind of things I recommend you bring, but it's more up to you if you want to. The next thing is things that you should just not bring at all. It's just a waste of money and a waste of space. Don't bring an ironing 
ironing board or an iron you are not going to use it i think we had one provided with us we had no we had an ironing board provided but not an iron which is kind of weird but yeah nobody used it unless you're going to formal events which you probably won't be at uni i brought a mixing bowl with me like and it had like a lid on it so i could store it it first of all didn't even fit in my fridge so i couldn't use it and i didn't really like use it to make things i think i made a salad in it like once and that was it do not bring a printer you do not need it you can just use the ones in the library and also i don't know if it's the same for every uni the internet for my accommodation like where we lived was so bad we couldn't even connect the internet to it for some reason so it's just a waste of money and a waste of space as well don't bring bins of you i brought i think two bins and my uni actually provided my like accommodation with it and i'm pretty sure that most unis do if they don't then that's a bit odd so Find a way if you can find out if your uni does it or not because there's no point in bringing bins of you. Don't bring heels. I mean, you can bring a pair if you really want to. I did that, but I never ever wore it unless you're going to be going to black tie events or something. You're not going to really need it. Do not, like, honestly, I just, I didn't hold back with this. I must have brought over like five or six bags of me to uni, which I barely used. I brought loads of jackets with me, which I barely used. And I brought loads of shoes as well with me, which I barely used. So try to minimize things. You don't need everything. Bring maybe two or three bags that are different sizes so that they will be useful and they will be used. Bring a couple of jackets and bring like three pairs of shoes. Don't bring any more than that because I went all out and... At Christmas time, I did have to bring a lot of things back home because I realised I did not even need it. So, yeah. Do not bring loads of binders, revision cards, loads of notebooks and stuff. I just found that I brought, like, way too much and I didn't even need it. And also, when you get to uni, you might find that you would rather just use a laptop than actually write it all out. So, I would say bring, like, one notebook, one binder. But yeah, that is everything. This is a really long video, so I'm really sorry. I'm going to try and cut it down to... The basics because i do tend to ramble on on things so yeah like i said if you guys do want me to do a uni like storage hacks video where i go in a bit more like detail about it i know that i probably would have found this quite useful um so i'll go a bit more in depth about like what i did i just don't know if everybody will want this or need this so either comment below if you really don't want me to do this or message me i'm more than happy to take requests as well if you guys want to do that but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful please give it a thumbs up that all really means a lot and subscribe please subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video